honor and what a privilege to sit before you this morning. Not as a pastor, but as a child of God. Amen. Understanding that there are some who didn't wake up this morning. Amen. Amen. And we pray for their families. But we were allowed to rise. Yes. Not only did we rise, but we rose in our right, right mind. mind. Yes. 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 Some folks might question whether I got my right mind, but right. we rose in our right mind with the activities of oh, all God. of our lives. Yes. 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 I don't know about you, but that's enough right there to be thankful. Yes. 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 Sometimes yes. we forget to give God praise yes. for the little things. Yes. That's right. If we can't be faithful for the little, then he's going to have problems giving us the most. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me this morning? Amen. Amen. In his name we pray. Let us go into the throne room and have God bless this service this morning. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent, how excellent, how excellent is your loving kindness towards us. How majestic is your presence. Yes, yes. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and for that we give you praise. Yes. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And for that, we acknowledge your supreme being. Yes. We honor you this morning, God, and ask that you would come into our midst and teach us this morning. Yes. Yes. Teach us how, Lord, to cast our cares on you. Yes. Let us say to ourselves, I won't take it back right. in the name of Jesus. Yes. That we glorify and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You have your Bibles, turn to 1 Peter. 1 Peter. Peter going to be towards the back of the New Testament. And I'm going to be in um, verse 5 of 1 Peter. And once I read this, I can shut the Bible because I will have given you the answer to why we don't cast our kids. <laughs> I don't know about you, but once I give it to him, I don't want it back. Say that. I don't want it back. Glory be to God. But how do you know sometimes we find ourselves, after we laid it, after we were once so far as to walk up to the front of the church and lay it on the altar. But before we leave that sanctuary, we have picked it up again. And I want to talk about that this morning. What causes us to do that? what we need to do in order to cast. And so we're looking at 1 Peter 5. And uh, in 1 Peter 5, I'm going to uh, look at verse 7. But I'm going to look at verse 6 first because that is the key. It says, humble. Anybody know what humble is? Yes. Humble yourself, not your neighbor, not your spouse, but humble who? Yes, Yourself. Yes, Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due season. Yes. Mm -hmm. Today, you got a due season coming to you for all the things you've done on behalf of God. Amen. This is due season. Amen? Amen. Amen? Then he says what our message is about today, casting all your care upon him. Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible didn't say casting all your cares. He said casting all your care. Mm -hmm. So that means you ought not to have 50 cares. You ought to be dealing with that one care. Cast that thing upon him, for he cares for you. Amen. Amen. Then he gives you a warning. He says, I need you to be sober and vigilant because your adversary. How many of you know you got an enemy? Yes. Yes. You know, there are folk today that don't believe in the devil and uh -huh. don't believe in uh, his imps and all of his cohorts and his army. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you today, thanks to God, that they are real. Yes, yes, they are. Yes, are. That's what's happening in your life. Mm -hmm. They're real and they're attacking you and you don't know it. And so you are being uh, inundated and just about destroyed by the works of the enemy. Yes. But he said, be vigilant, be sober, because your adversary, the devil, mm -hmm. as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Yes. He walking around looking for you. Yes. He walking around looking for somebody who is in sin, 
who has not repented, mm -hmm. who is not walking in the way of the Lord, Amen. who is believing in self more than God, yes. he's looking for you because he knows he can do what? Devour oh, you. Oh, my, 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 that's good. Casting your cares, your anxieties yes. on him because he cares for you. Mm. Our fears, our anxiety, that's what really gets us is when we get into the fears that we have. Mm -hmm. We go from anxiousness, anxiety comes first. But fear is the root. Somebody say root. root. Fear that we cannot control the situation that seems to be getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that you were never created to control things anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right now. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about casting our cares on God because he cares for us, let us recognize the two types of things or cares. One is the one that you can handle. Mm -hmm. If you can sit down and say, okay, I can do this, this, and this, and I can handle that, that's not what you give to God. Mm -hmm. God wants us to handle what we can handle. That's right. Do it effectively, expeditiously, and let's move on. To the next yes. thing. Amen. But there are some things in your life that are out of control. Somebody say out of control. Out of control. Things in your life that God never intended for you to have to handle. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that weigh you down. Those are the things that cause you to be up at night. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that cause you to worry about how it's going to turn out. God's got an answer for that. He said cast them like a reel mm -hmm. on a on, on, on a, uh, a fishing pole. Mm -hmm. You know those new ones? They got all that spindangle. All you got to do is hit the button and the real mm -hmm. uh, 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 a cord comes back up to you. Mm -hmm. He said, cast it. Mm -hmm. Now, casting doesn't mean just throwing it right in front of you. No. It doesn't mean that you just chip it in the water. He means cast. Sure, you throw wait. it out as far as you can. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're not going to deal with that anymore. Mm -hmm. Out of sight should be out of our mind, okay? But fear and anxiety and concerns cause us to be divided about our cares. And so God says to us that we must be decisive. That's the first thing I want you to know. You got to decide what you can handle and what you cannot. If it's something that is going to take an intervention, you can't handle it. Now, some of us think we can do all things, but I remember that's only reserved for Jesus. All things through him. With his help, I can do all things, but without him, no. If I cast my care on God, it says he'll take care of me. Why? Because he cares for me. But the thing that's interesting before that, it says, if I humble myself. Mm -hmm. See, that's the posture Audrey, that I have to be in if I want God to come in and take over this situation for me. I've got to be in a posture where I'm humbling myself. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't take the position that I'm greater than or better than, but I humble myself. God, I'm in a situation right now I can't handle. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. When? Right, right, now. Now. right now. I need you right now. I'm in a situation that I can not him, him. Amen. Therefore, I humble myself, I prostrate myself, I yield all of what I think I have. I give it to you, God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you will take care of it. Mm -hmm. And you will in due season. Somebody say due season. Mm -hmm. There is a season yeah. where God will bring that casting of your care into fruition. Yes. He'll show you the answer in due season. Yes. The problem is we have not mastered, come on somebody, Amen. that fruit, that fruit of the Spirit called patience. Yes. 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 We're on. still dealing with that. I don't That's believe right. anybody I know have mastered it. No. I can master it when it comes to you and say, girl, you need to just cast that on God and be patient mm -hmm. and wait. Have you ever done that before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have. Okay. We can tell other folk what they ought to do. Yeah. But when it comes to your little Jimmy and your oh, Mary yeah. and your children in jail and your children in a bad wreck, you don't know how to cast because you got it all up in here. 
And God said, it's no different with your Jimmy and your Mary than it is with somebody else's Jimmy. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. The answer is coming the same way. Cast it. Yep. And I don't want it back. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take it back because God has already handled it. Turn mm -hmm. to Psalms 55 mm -hmm. quickly. I hope you're getting something this morning. Amen. Amen. Yeah, God is telling you this morning that you... You've got to have a state of mind yes. where you recognize and understand, I can't do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to figure that out for myself a long time ago. That is a recognition. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. First, before you start casting or doing anything, you got to have a little talk with Jesus. Hallelujah. And tell him all about it. Yeah. Your trouble. Mm -hmm. Are you with me this morning? <laughs> yeah. Let him know, God, I'm in a pickle right now. Yeah. I'm in a bind and I need you. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know God gets in a hurry when we need him. Yeah. Yeah. He acknowledges that. Yeah. He wants to care for us. He wants to take care of our situation. But we got to be in a position of humility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God resists the proud, mm -hmm. but he gives grace to who? Mm -hmm. He gives grace to the humble. Psalms 55, let's look at verse 22. Somebody, uh, uh, Audrey, stand and read that quickly for me. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Okay. The first thing he told you is if you cast your cares on him, mm -hmm. he's going to take care of you. Now we're talking about the period where God is sustaining you through the process. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the process is the period of time between when you cast your cares and when you get your answer. Yes. That's the time that we are all impatient. Mm -hmm. He said he'd do what to you, Audrey? He, he will sustain you. He'll sustain you. And then he said he shall never suffer the righteous Come on. To be moved. All right. All right. Come on. He's not going to suffer you to be moved. Mm -hmm. He's not going to cause you to be thrown off your track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. going to keep you in perfect peace while you are waiting. Come on over here, Sam. Yeah. While you are waiting on God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. He's going to cause you. So, so we don't have any reason... Why we can't wait on God to do what he says he's going yes. to do. Are you listening? Yes. 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 God is very concerned about you. Yes, he is. For those of us who say, don't nobody care about me, don't nobody call me. You know, I've been sick a long time and nobody has checked in on me. You know how we get those pity parties. Yes. 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 God cares for you. Yes. He is concerned about the state of your mind mm -hmm. and the state and condition of your heart. Mm -hmm. He gets in a hurry. He makes room for you, and he will provide everything you need. He said, I'm going to sustain you. So while you're waiting, you're worrying, God is keeping you going. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't fall out and have a heart attack or a stroke. Mm -hmm. It's because God is keeping you going. He's saying, cast it and don't take it back. Yeah. Cast it and forget about it. Yes. Cast it and be at perfect peace. Yes. How can I stay in perfect peace? I've got to keep my mind stayed on him. Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? So why are we so often bogged down with cares? of this world. We're confronted with the same problems we've had before. You know, we, we, we get really crazy when it comes to our children and our spouse. Yes. Typically, when we're dealing with them, it's not the first time that that's happened. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. It's not the first time that you have dealt with what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Yes. 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 But every time it happens, you don't go back and try to understand what's going on. You jump right back into it again. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. My baby, 
Oh, my baby, they going through. You never decided what happened, who was wrong, how your baby can learn from this experience. You don't look at the totality of it. All you worry about is what's going to happen to your baby. I got a news bulletin for you. They're not your babies. They're God's babies. You're like Mary, mothers. You are just the one God used to bring forth yes. into the world, that yes. child. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm talking this morning. Amen. But God has given us a solution to cast it. He says, cast your cares on the Lord, mm -hmm. and he will sustain. I'm going to keep you up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold you up while you're waiting on me to deliver the answer to you. Amen. Now, there's an answer to every problem. Yes. And God has that answer. Yes, he does. Let me stop right here and tell you, you may not like the answer that God gives you. That's right. But I would dare to say that you better accept that. Because Amen. Amen. if not, you're going to go right back through that situation again. Amen. Aren't you tired of always going, getting your child out of jail for smoking marijuana? Aren't you tired of getting your daughter out of situations where she's been in concerning me? And aren't you tired of meeting all this Tom, Dick, and Harris that they're bringing to your house? Sometimes we need to cast our cares by setting boundaries with our families. All right. Amen. Not another man in my house. Mm -hmm. Not another young lady. You can talk to him on the porch. Mm -hmm. You'll come into the house and get something, leave him in the car. Mm -hmm. But I don't need to meet anybody else because what you're doing is creating soul ties that you don't even intend to stay there with. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. So you're messing up them, you're messing up their lives, mm -hmm. their family's lives, and you're dragging all that baggage over to my house, and I can't deal with it anymore. All right, yeah. come on now, come on. I got to keep my mind focused on Jesus, yes. the yes. author and perfecter. Mm -hmm. I know I'm talking this yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. He gave us a solution to cast it because he cares, because he's going to do what he says, that he's going to do. Are you listening? Yes. God will sustain us. Yes. He will never let you fall. Yes. Isn't it something? Yes. How many times you fall? Yes. Somebody says you get up seven times again. This tells me God's not going to let me fall. Yes. Why? Because I am in him. Yes. Because I have come to him with humility. Casting and presenting my petitions before God. And in due season, that's the right time. Yes. Due season means it might not be this minute. It might not be this month. Mm -hmm. But when God believes that I'm prepared and ready for it, mm -hmm. that's my due season. Yes. Yes. I hear pastor, heard a pastor this morning. This is the season for due season. Mm -hmm. See, everybody don't have the same season. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is giving folk false hope. Yes. You're not humbling yourself before God. Mm -hmm. You're not spending any time reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. You're not doing anything but trying to get a prophetic word, living like a heathen. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. come on now. Amen. And I need you to understand that if you continue to live like a heathen, God can't help you. Because he can't come to your sins. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. He wants you and he wants to be with you, but you keep doing the same things over and over again and expecting God to rescue you. Yes. You haven't kept your end of the bargain. Amen. 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 That's all I'm saying this morning about that. Amen. God will sustain. He will hold you up when it looks like you're falling. Yep. Just shout, God, sustain me. Yes. Yes. He will never let you fall at sea. So if I fall down seven times, that's not spirit, that's not uh spiritually correct. That's right. Yeah, I fall down. I fall down, but it's not because of God. Because if I'm walking with God, he's sustaining me. Isn't that what the scripture says? Yeah. He will sustain me, and he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. In other words, you're not going to lose. You're not going to fall out. You're not going to go backwards because you are the righteous, and he won't let anything happen to you and cause you to go backwards or be moved. Amen. Amen. You are his child. Yes. 
Yes. Think about all that you do for your children. Mm. Folk looking at the January bill now, from the de December bill now, mm. from Christmas. Mm -hmm. $200 tennis shoes for a child that can't even stand up on their own. Mm. <laughs> he wanted some Nike whatever. Or he wanted some Wheezy's or Jeezy's or whatever you call them. <laughs> but he bought a D minus in your house. Come on now. Come on. There's no accountability. There are no standards. Mm. A D minus don't equal $200 shoes, and I'm not trying to buy you, but I'm saying just like God, when we, when we follow God and do the things of God, he rewards us, does he not? Yes. And we should reward our children when they've done what we've asked and been prepared for God. Amen. Amen. But you got a D minus. You got put out of class four times for talking back to the teacher. The devil is a liar. Amen. I'm not rewarding mediocrity, and I'm not rewarding bad grades. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Well, I wanted some tennis shoes. The ones you have on work just fine. <laughs> you want to know the reason why? Because you haven't learned to line up Amen. according to God's word. Yeah. When I line up with God, he makes things work. Amen. He don't make it work for my spouse. If my spouse never lines up, I'm going to line up with God. And I'm not going to worry about him. He got to go to hell by himself. That's right. Are you listening to me this morning? Yeah. And I'm not going with him, okay? No. There's some things you got to decide Amen. for yourself. Amen. About yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, I am excited that Elder Woods loves the Lord. I'm excited that Elder Woods prays six times a week. I'm excited that Elder Woods is worships and is in the spirit, but if he never did, that wouldn't be on me. God is calling you individually to yes. him. Yes. Yes. Not as a group. So stop worrying about what he does. Pray for him. Pray for her. Yes. Amen. And say, Lord, I'm trying to follow you. Help my spouse to follow you. And I don't care what they say to you, they don't have any legitimate answer for why they're not following God unless you're not showing forth the beauty of God. Amen. See, we all want our family to be saved and we want to cast our cares on God. But see, they're doing what you do. If you still got that heathen way of doing things, your family's following you. They're not doing as you say do, they're doing as you do. So you want to know why he's not coming? Because he sees what you're doing. You want to know why she's not acting wifely like she should? Because she's watching what you do. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me today? Amen. One is a direct correlation with the other. Yep. God wants both of you, but he's going to deal with you individually. Amen. Mm. Amen. He will sustain me. He will never let me fall. He says... He's given me the ability, mm -hmm. the willingness. He's willing to be our father if we would, if we let him. He's willing to strengthen me mentally. Mm -hmm. First thing happens when, when I start feeling a little off mentally is I go to God, I got to cast that. Lord, I don't know what's going on with my mind right now. Mm -hmm. But Lord, I know that I have the mind of Christ. Amen. And if the greater one lives on the inside of me, there's nothing wrong with my mind. Come on here, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. That my mind is whole and my mind is productive. And I think of wonderful things for the kingdom of God. Yes. Yes. And I begin to profess what God has said. I don't sit there waddling. Well, I feel like I want to take my life. You didn't give your life. You can't take Amen. your life. Amen. Amen. God Amen. is the giver of every good and perfect gift. Not you. Yes. Yes. Glory Amen. this morning. Amen. So when I'm down mentally, I ask for mental strength. Yes. 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 Because he says, when you're weak, Karen, I'm your strength. Yes. So if I need mental strength, I've got to go to him. Yes. What am I doing now? I'm beginning to strengthen my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. It's no sense in casting cares on a God that you don't know. 
Ain't nobody yeah. talking. Yeah. Yeah. Emotionally, I need his strength. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes my emotions get out of whack. Anybody know what I'm yes. talking about? Yes. Yes. I get so excited and my emotions get really high. But I need God to strengthen me that I might say and do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And then spiritually, of course, mm -hmm. I need God to guide me because he's already told you mm -hmm. in his word that you ought to walk in the spirit. Yes. And if I walk in the spirit, what do you mean, Apostle? Mm -hmm. I mean, I keep my mind focused on Jesus. Right. When I'm dealing with you, I'm dealing with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I'm keeping my mind focused on the things of God. He said, when I do that, he will keep me in perfect peace. Yes, yes. Why? Because I got my mind stayed on him. Yes. Amen. Amen. I don't have my mind on the problem. How many of you worried and worried about the problem? Mm -hmm. We all know the problem. We need a solution to that yes. problem. Mm -hmm. And only God can handle that yes. in most cases. Amen. He's willing to take everything that we cause. Everything that we have done, everything that overwhelms us, he's ready to take those things and then turn them mm. into a benefit for come you. Come on, come on. Come All on. things are working together yes. for yes. good. Yes. Yes. If you love him, if you're called according to his purpose, it's working for your good. So even though right now this thing looks really bad, i got to stay strengthened in God. Somebody yes. say strengthened in God. Strengthen in God. Tell your neighbor, I'm strong in the Lord. I'm strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. In the yes. power of his might. Yeah, it all connects yes. if you listen to me. Yes. And folks might think you crazy, but you keep right on talking to yourself. Yes. Is she talking to her? No, I'm talking to Jesus. <laughs> No, I'm talking to the power of the Holy Spirit in me. Yes, yes. That's why when they wrote that letter, I said, oh, they had the nerve to write me a letter. Mm. I said, oh, Lord, my God, how excellent is your love and kindness. If you heal me once, you will. Yes. 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 I yes. don't have time where I can, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, so, I knew something was wrong. See, you have just called yep. and cast something right on yourself. That's right. Sure have. Amen. I'm not calling enough. Mm. Amen. I begin to say, mm -hmm. pancreas line up, mm -hmm. liver line up, that's right. blood flow according to the will of God. Anything in my body that's not of God is not supposed to be there. Get out in the name of Jesus. If you can't take authority over your own body, you can't take authority over nothing. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Glory be to God yes, this morning. Thank you, Jesus. So whatever the pain is, be gone in the name of Jesus. Yes. See, he gave me that power and authority. Yes, thank you. I'm not stupid. I'm just functioning according to the will and ways of God. Yes. Yes. His ways are not your ways. His ways are not my ways. That's right. But if he tells me to speak life, that's what I better do. That's right. What does he mean, speak life? He means speak goodness. Yes. Yes. Speak what you want to see. That's, right. that's called faith. Amen. Yes. Faith is not Handling what I can handle in my own. That's, you don't take no faith mm -hmm. for you to handle certain things. That's right. Because it's within your ability. Yes. It's within your reach. Mm -hmm. But it's the stuff that you can't do nothing with. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff that worries you and burdens you and causes a tear to fall from your eyes. Amen. And you're saying, Lord, when, when, when? Are you going to handle this situation? He said, I tried to handle it when you gave it to me, but you didn't cast oh, your yeah. head on yeah. me. Yeah. Yes. Because if you cast it on me, I'm obligated mm -hmm. to take care of it. Are you hearing me this morning? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Come on. He is willing to take everything we have because he don't want you overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. God can't do anything with you overwhelmed. What benefit are you to God if all you doing is quiet, crying, murmuring, complaining? Mm -hmm. The one thing I hate is when the leaders in the church, who are supposed to be the mature ones, mm -hmm. the ones eating meat, every time I turn around, they're the ones at the altar. Mm -hmm. Can't get to the altar for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Wait a minute, baby. You're supposed to be holding the cross for the all people. Right. Come on, all somebody. Right. All right, come on now. We have got to get ourselves to the point where we know that God in us, the hope of glory, is working. Yes, yes. 
Because I can't see it don't mean it's not being done. Amen. As a matter of fact, I envision in my mind, I can see God working that thing out. He's working it out, yep. working it out, working it out. <laughs> For what? My good. So whatever is wrong, he's working it out. Let yeah. Yeah. it have its perfect way. Mm -hmm. Let faith move. Let faith work for you. Yeah. Well, you don't know. Mm -hmm. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, keep worrying. But I choose not to worry, to give it to him and say, I don't want it no more. I don't want to take the problem of another adult and let it cause me to lose my mind. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if what happened to them was my fault, I got to just ask forgiveness of them and God and then move on. Mm -hmm. Or I will be here forever. I've seen folk that get arthritis from worrying. Yep. It has literally crippled them mm -hmm. from worrying about another person who is using them because they know they can get you to worry. They don't worry about the problem. Nope. You notice that? Mm -hmm. The person's not worrying. You're the one worrying. Mm -hmm. Because you think if you worry, it's going to make them do better. Nope. Let me tell you something. Easy. they still going to be heathens mm -hmm. no matter what you do until they humble themselves under the mighty hand of God. Yes. Amen. Lord, have mercy help us today. God cares for you. Yes. God is loving and his heart is tender towards you. Yes. Don't you know that a loving God doesn't want you suffering? He doesn't want you up at night crying. He doesn't want you unable to sleep because you are burdened down with something that belongs to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, cast it, throw it as far away from you as you can get it, and then get back into the business of being about my business, is what he said. Amen. Are you hearing Amen. me? Amen. He promises to give good gifts. Mm -hmm. He promised you good gifts. Yeah. And if God promised you good gifts, that's what you got to focus your mind on. I know I got a good gift coming. Yeah. I know my due season is coming. Yeah. I know God has already promised me this and all I got to do is hold, hold on. on. Hold yeah. on. And while I'm waiting on that promise, yeah. I'm gonna be working for Jesus. Yeah. I'm gonna do his will. I'm gonna do his way. It's one thing about God. He loves the faithful. Yes. Yes. Oh I'm not talking about the one that cooks every Sunday. That's yes. not faithful because they evil as a rabbit snake in there. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. How you going to be working for God, cussing mm. out everybody they come on. in the kitchen? Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. No, I'm talking about the mother that's gentle and kind mm. and works with the young. and See the children mm. running and they take a moment and, give it, and, and, and go ahead and teach them. No, we don't run in church. Why don't we run in church, children? Because mm. the pastor don't want us to know. That is the reason. That's being obedient. But the reason is so you don't hurt yourself. They take a teachable moment and teach the young children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They see an opportunity at the church, and rather than waiting for the pastor to come, they go ahead and handle it. Mm -hmm. That's being faithful. Yes. The pastor doesn't have to okay everything. Come they don't have to okay for you to sweep the sanctuary. All right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The pastor shouldn't have to okay you changing the flowers. Anything, no, but you got to be seen. You're not humble. Mm -hmm. You're not humbling yourself. Lord, what do you need me to do in the church today? Jesus. How can I bless the ministry in the man or woman of God? Yes, yes, yes. This is what God is looking for us to do. And when you cast your cares on him, yep. he will answer you mm -hmm. and show you great and mighty things. Amen. That you did not even anticipate. Are oh, oh, you hear me? Give him a hand. Yeah. 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 Yes. I was talking to a friend uh, Friday. My college is having like a little reunion, and he was calling me. Two of the guys and said, Karen, you're not going to be there. And I said, No, I've got to speak in Columbia Saturday, so I won't be able to come. And I said, and I sent him a picture, so because you know none of us look the same. They say that we did when we was in college. Mm -hmm. And so I sent the picture, and he said, you know what he said to me? He said, you look so happy. Mm -hmm. And I said.
said, if you got the joy of the Lord, you'd be happy too. Amen. 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 It's the God in me. Yes. Yes. I don't carry my cares. I don't carry worry. And God meets me at the point of every need. He wants to do that for all of us. Yes, he does. And my God shall. Somebody say, and my God shall. And my God shall. Provide. 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 All my needs. All my needs. All my needs. All my needs. If I need my child to be healed, all my needs. All my needs. If I can't pay my rent, all my needs. All my needs. Now let me say this to you, because some of us get really confused, and I blame a lot of time the new leadership in, in the churches. I just stopped by to tell you it's your due season. You have a father God, you don't pray, you barely come to church. You don't even know God as your personal Savior, mm -hmm. but you somebody told you it was your due season, and you start running around the church. Mm -hmm. Ahead. See, there are conditions to everything that God has given us. Yes. I told you there's a provision, but there's also God's protection, but there's also a caveat. Yes. If you trust in the Lord with all your heart, he will give you the desires of your heart. What's the part we got to do? Trust yes. in the Lord with all our heart. You can't ask God to give you the desires of your heart if you haven't trusted in him. Amen. Because what happens is is got to come from him. Mm -hmm. And what I have found, minister, is that all the things I thought I wanted to ask God for, he had changed my appetite. Come on, That's somebody. Yeah. He changed my appetite yes, to I, what I thought I wanted. Right. I didn't even want it all. Mm -hmm. And then I begin to ask him according to his will yes. and not what I, I want. Because mm -hmm. when I line up with his will, he'll get out of his way mm -hmm. to get it to you. Yes, out of his way mm -hmm. to give you everything you need. Mm -hmm. I had loaned somebody, or Steve had loaned somebody uh, a nice little piece of change. And, and you know, you always wonder if people are going to ever pay you back. Mm -hmm. These people have been faithful. And they're paying back and things got a little lean. And I said, Steve, I don't know how we're going to juggle this situation. And then uh, Steve said, well, we just got to pray about it. See, that's where we are. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. See, what God is with it. We, we support other people. We help people when people are in need. Mm -hmm. We try to support them if we can. Mm -hmm. See, what, what, what I know is that when I loaned that money to that young couple, I was loaning to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. They had a serious need, and I know it took a lot for them to call. They had to humble themselves to call me. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. God was humbling them. Yeah. And so we never give you what you ask for, but we will give you what we hear from God. Right. And I said, Steve, I don't know. We may have to do something else. We may have to work this thing a different way. And I went in there and laid down. That's usually where I go when I'm going to go rest and, and speak to God. And and then I had my phone in my hand and something popped up. And it was them sending the money that they had borrowed from us. I forgot the money. Amen. Amen. But I need to tell you it was to the penny, the money that I needed. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. You said, well, that was your money. Yes, it was. But I had forgot it. Mm -hmm. But God didn't. Amen. And they didn't. Are you listening to me today? Amen. Amen. How God blesses you when you cast oh, is up to God. Right. It's not up to you. If you have not tithe, <clears throat> you don't give offerings, you don't take or send your children to church. Mm. The only thing you do is drive your little 2001 Mercedes <laughs> and you ride all over town with your new hair and your... And your uh, Nails with your new lashes out to here. <laughs> you go out looking like, I mean, boss lady, and the children looking like they came from the project. Come on, come on. Come on. And you want God to bless you. Yeah. <laughs> See, what I may do for others, God will make happen for me. Yes, he will. Yes. I got a member of my church that blesses me every Sunday. 
Every single Sunday she blesses me. If she didn't bless me, I'd still be all right. Still love her no less. Mm -hmm. But every Sunday, she said, Amen. God told her, you need to bless the pastor. Amen. That's a new season. Amen. And her due season is on the way. Oh, yeah. Because you can't bless God's people and God not bless you. I wish you had a hand for God right now. So when you cast your cares, yes. know that he's working it out. First you talk to him. That's like you sending your problems to my house and you didn't call me up to tell me they were coming. Mm -hmm. Just send your baby kids over here and they ring the door. But mom said if us come over here, but you ain't call me. You want to have no conversation about it. And you want me to take care of your little baby kids. And I call your phone and ain't no answer. Come on here, somebody. Come on, come on. That's what we do to God. We just show up. God, you know me. No, I don't. He gonna say I knew you not. Why? Because he knew you not. <laughs> You got to call him. Somebody say call him. Call, 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 call on him. Call on. Yes. And when you call on him, he will what? Answer, Answer you. Yes, he will. You call on God. You tell him about the problem. Yes. And he's going to tell you, Karen, let me have that. Wait a minute, God. <laughs> don't hurt him. Don't, God, don't hurt him. God gonna deal with the situation the way God wants to deal with the situation. Not the way you tell him to deal with it. Come on, come on. Because if you'd have dealt with it right from the beginning, you wouldn't be in this mess. Amen. Oh, I wish I had a with Come on now. That would understand that God's gonna make it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when God do it, you know it's been done. Come on here. Yeah. 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 So when you cast your care on him. <clears throat> He will strengthen your heart. That's the first thing he's going to do. That's right. He's going to strengthen you. Yes. He's going to give you the patience yes, to make it through that situation. The Bible said he will sustain you. Yes. He will undergird you. He's going to keep you. Why? Because you've given God an assignment that he told you to give him. Mm -hmm. God is now obligated. You gonna tell God to obligate? Yes, He is. He's obligated to His word. That's right. His word is Him, and He is His word. Mm -hmm. So if God tells you He's gonna do something. You wait on it. Yes. But now, now we're about to transition and cast. Talk to God. Yes. Humble yourself and wait patiently. Yep. When we talk to God. He will strengthen my heart. Mm -hmm. He'll be just like he's holding me and hugging me the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you can smile. Yes. Because this is what's happening. I got a problem down here. But I'm up here. Mm -hmm. All around this problem. But the problem is not affecting me. Because I've given it to God. And now, it's my problem all right. <laughs> but I gave it. That's like being the Indian giver. You give me something, you come back to me, oh, I didn't mean to really give you that. Let no. me have that back. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> but you gave it to me. Yeah. That's what we do to God. God, I'm going to just take this one back. This one right here, I don't think you can. Have. What we're saying to God is that God can't take care of what we give him, so we better take it back and help him. And every time we flub it up, don't we? Amen. We mess it up. We get in the way. I had God say that to me before. Get out of the way. I'm like, I'm not in the way. You're in the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We give people when God is trying to teach them something. You let them come in your house and stay when God is saying they need to finish, uh, spend a few nights outdoors. Mm -hmm. God is not immune to testing us. Amen. Amen. And he will test us to see if we're real. If we mean what we say. Mm -hmm. God looking for some warriors. Yes, he is. He's not looking for folks that want to take up money. Mm -hmm. You notice everybody joined the church either want to sing or take up money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or be the pastor's aide. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Those are motive positions. Mm -hmm. Better not be no money missing. Mm -hmm. You steal it from God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mm -hmm. I would ask him for what I need. Are you hearing me? That's right. You can smile. 
Because now you're waiting. I'm going to give you Romans 5. Turn over there quickly. And I'm, how am I for time? Romans 5. Thank you, Elder Steve. The best all-purpose Christian I have ever seen. Let's give Elder Steve a hand praise. Elder Steve is the all-purpose Christian. I don't care what it is, he's willing to do it. That's a servant. Amen? Amen. First person that ever called me pastor as a husband. I know that was hard for him, but he did. He said, I guess I need to call you pastor when we deal with church. I said, yes, sir, you do. He said, don't push it. Don't push it. <laughs> to God be the glory. What did I say? Romans 5. Yes, yeah. Somebody read verses 3 and 4 for me, if you would. Three and four. Not only so, but we also glory our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Mm -hmm. Perseverance, character, and character hope. Okay, so God's working something out in us. Mm -hmm. He says, and not only so, but we glory. So we ought to be happy when we have tribulation. Mm -hmm. I don't mean we run around jumping and going, yes, I'm in a lot of trouble and I feel awful, but glory be to God. That's not what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But he's saying like that guy said, you're awful happy. Mm -hmm. You look happy. Mm -hmm. You don't look stressed. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, when you got God in your pocket, how are you going to be stressed? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, I look like what my God has made me look mm -hmm. like. Yes, yes. You know, and... I thought that was the greatest compliment. Mm -hmm. You look happy. What he was trying to say was, you look like you got joy. Amen. Mm -hmm. I take joy all day before some happiness. All happiness right. is temporary. Right. Right. Joy can be eternal. Amen. Amen. Are you Amen. hearing me today? Amen. Amen. And so, we glory in tribulation. We don't cry and call everybody, girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just got a diagnosis of cancer. Lord, have mercy. I'm going to need the church to come together. Can you call all of the ministry leaders? See, what you're doing now is getting ready to get the gossip column going. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bible said call for the elders of the church. Mm -hmm. Those who should know how to pray. Mm -hmm. Who should know how to earnestly go before God on your behalf. Mm -hmm. Not gossip. Well, yeah, girl, I know she was looking kind of thin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, folk can mess you up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, yes. uh, after knowing the trick that tribulation works patience. I was the most impatient person, I believe. Just got to have it right now. I mean, when I wanted it to happen, it had to happen. But that's not what God is saying. He's saying that when you go through something, it's going to work your patience. Mm -hmm. So don't think it's strange when you cast your cares on him that, that you still got to manifest patience. Right. That you gotta work, you gotta work on what I would do is hold on to whatever God said, do season. Woo, I got something coming. Yes. Woo! Yes. I got something coming. I don't know what it is, but I know if it's coming from God, it's got to be good. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hold on to that. Hold on. And then he says, and patience is giving you some experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And experience brings hope. Yes. And hope makes us not ashamed mm. because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which is given <clears throat> unto us. Yes. So there's a lot going on in you when you cast your cares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ron, when you tell God yes to his will and his way, things start moving in you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm... I'm coming to the Lord, but I, I, I just, right now, I just can't, I, I'm not, I can't change right now. Well, you can't change anyway. Amen. God is going to change you. That's right. You just yield yourself, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and in due season, mm -hmm. he's going to bless your socks off yes. yes. in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. And then you tell God about that problem. Mm -hmm. Once you talk to him, you tell him about the problem. You tell him the truth because he already knows the truth. Yes, yes he does. There's no sense in starting crying. God's not moved by your tears. Mm -hmm. He's not moved by you. Oh, God. That mm -hmm. doesn't move God. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is moved by your sincerity and your honesty before him. Let him know 
that you had to still make. Let him know that you need, I need you, Lord. Yes. I need you, Lord, right now. Right right now. now. Yes. What are you doing? You're acknowledging, mm -hmm. I can't do it no yes. more. Yes. Mm. As long as you think you can handle it, there will never be a release. But something ought to happen on the inside of you when you call on the name of Jesus in prayer. Yes. Yep. When you go to him and you worship him and then you say, Father, you know why I'm here because he already knew before you told him. Mm -hmm. And God, I need you to help me to cast this on you because it's bigger than me. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than anything I've ever experienced. Yep. But I know that while I'm waiting on you to answer this, the patience has got to be tested. That's right. And God, you're testing me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait, God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait and let patience have her work. I'm going to get experience from this so that when it happens the next time, I can help somebody else. Yes. All right. I won't be the one falling by the wayside. Yes. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge your need for him. See, you can go to God and ask God to do something and never acknowledge that you need him. Yeah. I need you, Lord. Yeah. I need you to help me in the middle of this. And I'm taking my hands up, and I don't want it back. Mm -hmm. I can't handle it, God. Mm -hmm. As you fall on your face to him, you tell him you can't handle it. Mm -hmm. And then leave the problem with him. Yeah. Now you can rest. Knowing that the problem is in good hands. And that while it's in his hand, he's working things out for your good and for the person's good and for the situation's good. But when you pick it back up again, you're telling God, I'm impatient. Mm -hmm. I need you to do it right now. And one thing about us, we can't rush God. God will not be rushed or pushed by man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let God lead you. You picked it up, God's going to remind you, tell God, God, I, I picked this up before, and I don't want to pick it up again. Mm -hmm. You go through the same thing again and cast that again. Because God knows that it may take us a minute. Mm -hmm. But if you're serious about casting and living a life where you got the joy of the Lord, you've got to get these things off you. You've got to stop carrying things that are not yours. That's why I think Elder Stephen not going to live a little while longer because we don't carry people's burdens anymore. Amen. We used to. I was sick all the time. Always something wrong. Why? Because I was carrying weight that mm -hmm. I was not created to carry. Mm -hmm. You're carrying things God didn't intend for you to carry. He said, my peace I leave with you. Mm -hmm. Not as the world give it to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither be afraid. Mm -hmm. That's him telling you. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. I'm built for it. You're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, 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 my. Mm -hmm. When you pick it up, take it back. There's no shame in that. See, because sometimes we have to go through a process before we finally get to where we need to be. Mm -hmm. God, I'm sorry. I feel terrible. I took this thing back up again, mm -hmm. but it wasn't mine. Mm -hmm. I give it back to you. Amen. And this time, Lord, I ask you would help me. I'm serious. I was serious the first time, but I was weak. Mm -hmm. You said you were working some things out in me, and I, and, and, and I got in the way. I apologize, God. Help me mm -hmm. to leave that care, because you care for me. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a knowing that God cares for you Amen. 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 and everything concerning you. And when you leave it with God, go mm. on about your business. You're going to look around before you know it, and that thing will be taken care of. Yeah. And then let God lead you through that process. Because the person is going to come back to you. They're going to whine. They're going to murmur. They're going to complain. Nobody loves them. If you was my parents, you would help me. Mm. you got to hug them. Mm. Give them all the love you can. But tell her, this is bigger than me. Look at your neighbor and say, this is bigger than me. This is bigger than me. Mm. It's bigger than me. I can't get in the way of God when things are bigger than me. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's bigger than me. It's harder than me. It's more important than I can handle. This is a job for Jesus, not for Kim. And when you take it there, he'll lead you through that process. Yeah. Understand it didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. 
it's not going to get cleared up overnight. Mm -hmm. But that's what God is testing you. And he's saying, do not be anxious. In Philippians 4, don't be anxious for anything. Mm -hmm. See, you haven't gotten to the fear and the crying yet. Don't be anxious for anything. But with prayer, petition, and thanksgiving, mm -hmm. bring all your requests to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, and the God of peace. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The God of peace yes. will be with you. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 See, he wants you resting while he's working. Nothing more, I can see us now, just sit back, come on. We, what happened to such and such situation? Well, I had to get at the God. <laughs> Couldn't handle it. It was a little bit too much for me, but God got it. Well, what's going on with it? Don't know, not mine. That's right. <laughs> Let's practice that. Don't know. Don't no, know. No, not mine. Not, not mine. mine. I got it. God's got it. <laughs> oh, I like that. Amen. Me too. Not mine. Not, not mine. mine. Take it with prayer, petition. We go to God, we petition Him for what we need with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you. Yeah. I thank you that I have a place to go. I thank you. That you love me. I thank you that you love them. I thank you, God, that from the end of this thing, you knew it to the very beginning. I thank you, God, that it's bigger than me. I thank you, God, for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you, God, for what you're teaching me in it. See, what am I doing? I'm giving God glory in advance. Yes, yes, yes. Minister, it don't take nothing. Anybody can praise God after they get the victory. God said, I have the victory yeah. over my health, over my home, over my circumstances. And if I got the victory, I ought to be able to shout about it before I get the answer to it. Right. Are you hearing me this morning? Yes. Yes. I ought to be able to shout about it. Yes. And he will send peace that will transcend all understanding. Yes. Anybody going to know why you're so happy? Mm -hmm. But guess what that peace will do? It'll guard your heart. Yes, it's guarding my heart. Yes. So all that crap can't get in there. It's guarding my heart. Don't mean I don't hear it, but God's got like a filter over my ears and stuff just go in and go right back out. <laughs> he is transcending all understanding. He's guarding your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Yes. Amen. Oh, hallelujah today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I cast my cares on you yes. because you care for me. Yes. Yes. And in conclusion this morning, it's important that we identify, as I said before, what we can handle and what we can't handle. Yes. That's where the first problem comes in. We are always putting things on God that we don't want to take care of. Mm -hmm. But he said, cast your cares, anything that you care about. I love Elder Steve. I care about him. I love the members <coughs> of the creation. I care about you. So if something happens to one of you, what do I have to do? I got to pray, and then I got to cast you over to God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because no matter what I do, Elder Steve, God loves you far more than I ever could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's concerned about what's happening in your life, Sandra. Yeah. So I've got to cast that to him and let him do it. Because he knows I don't have the ability to do it and I'm going to flub it up. Somebody say, don't flub it up. Don't, don't flub, flub it up. up. Cast it. Throw it away. But I just can't do that. I, I'm responsible. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to be responsible, go ahead. You are totally in contradiction to what the Word of God says. Amen. But if you want to hold on to them, go right ahead. But in Hebrew 13, he told me he would never leave me nor forsake me, did he? Mm -hmm. So I have no reason to fear. And see, this is what is gripping so many of us. You're being gripped by anxiety and then anxiety for so long till it turns into fear. Mm -hmm. You become fearful of what might happen that hadn't even happened. Mm -hmm. 
You see them killed. You see them destroyed. You see them ruined. You see all kind of things that the enemy sends you away. Why? Because you didn't cast it. No shame in your game to take it back again. Because I don't want it. I don't need it. It belongs to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody raise your hand and praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Hallelujah. To God. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, God, today that we're casting yes. our care. Yes, Lord. Yes. Cast all our care yes. upon the Lord. Come on, help me. Cast all your care. Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Before we turn it off, I'm sure there are some folk out there uh, who uh, are saying, wow, that was a good message, but um, are there any examples or is there anything you would like to say, saints of God, about the message that uh, might be encouraging to somebody else this morning? Because that's what we're all about, encouraging others. Amen. 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 I have a couple of things to say. Yes, sir. And one of Satan's favorite games is the doubting game. Mm -hmm. If he can get you to doubt what you believe, he has weakened your faith and your spiritual authority. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's where Satan gets you when you're in a doubting you start situation. Doubting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, Elder. Anybody else? A lot of times our trials that we go through is testing our faith so we are not trying to doubt God. But when we try to handle it, we can't. And we know that that's at that time that we have to turn it over to God. Right. Amen. And that's going to be, that's going to, we're going to have to be listening yes. to the Spirit. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to stop and listen to the Spirit because we're so accustomed to handling things, aren't we? Yes. yes. But now we're going to transition that mm -hmm. to casting cares to God. Mm -hmm. Knowing the difference between what I can handle and what I can't handle. Amen. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be mindful of that. Anybody else? And we also got to be aware of our weakness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Once we know them, mm -hmm. we can operate them. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and confess all of our sin. To God, yes. yes. Before He can make a move, but and, and, and being <clears throat> pretenders, and that's what's wrong with today's world. Yeah, there's so much fakeness going on. Pretending, pretending, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and and God is not pleased with that. No, mm -hmm. only way He can help you being real, mm -hmm. and be real among your brothers and sisters. That's right. right. Because what you do in the dark, ah, will sure come to the light. It's coming to light. Yes. And Amen. more, we're just faking ourselves, aren't we? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're fooling ourselves. Yeah. We're not fooling anybody. Nobody. And they're moving forward, and we're still stuck. Yes. Exactly. Because we're cat. We're not casting our kids. Amen. Baby, your Amen. face looks like you got to say something. You gonna bust? <laughs> <laughs> no. I was. I was just thinking that 
when we know, when we cast our cares, God already knows. He just wants to see if you're going to be truthful with yeah, him and to be able to say, and you know what you're going to say. My mother used to always tell me, tell God your plans and watch how he laughs. Yeah. yeah your plans just, is not, in, in, and what you think that you're going to do is not <coughs> probably what he wants you to do. Amen. Exactly. Amen. That's good because we do. We always have our little plans. Yeah. Yeah. What we going to do? It's going to work out. <laughs> I don't make plans anymore. Yeah. Yeah. To God be the glory. Anybody yeah. else? You can't have pride and go to God. Well, you can't get to him in pride. Mm -hmm. Why can't you get to him in pride? Because you, you, you're looking at yourself to really resolve the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, you're saying, well, let me give it to God. See, see, see what he does. We'll see yeah. what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. And you can't have that mind frame when you go to God. Mm -hmm. You go to God saying, God, this is what's going on. Thank you. And just keep on stepping. Keep on going. Yeah. There you go. I asked him, why can't we, uh, why can't we go to God in our own flesh and our own sin? Because God can't come there. Yeah, sin. Sin. He is holy. holy. I know we don't understand what holiness means, but God is holy, holy. and that means if it's not holiness, He can't come near it. Love, right. peace, joy, righteousness. He can come to that, but if we're coming to Him in ourselves, in fear and doubt and all of that, those are sin. Anything that's a sin, God can't come to it. So we have to purify ourselves and and confess mm -hmm. and then go to God. Amen. 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 Is Amen. that all? Amen. Well, thank you all for today. Let's give God a hand. Glory to his name. We honor him today. Thank you.